about 200 years ago, a little more, when Henry Hudson came into this area, there were 45,000 acres of tidal marsh surrounding the whole of New York City. And the marsh looked about like this one here. And every square meter of the marsh, three of these on each side, in the other direction, captures about a kilogram of carbon every year and probably stores some fraction of that. Every square meter, every square foot of these rib mussels filters about 2,000 gallons of water a day. So this is the City Island coastline. The water out here, the same water that flows right past what's going to be East River Park. And the point is that all of this coastline was made. We literally took the whole 570 miles of coastline, probably much more, and straightened it out. And basically it doesn't do the work of carbon capture or water filtration. So we need a simple metric going forward for restoration. How much carbon is the shoreline capturing and how much water is being filtered? Just 10 feet about the marsh that's here, if we took that whole length of New York City, 570 miles, and put about 10 feet, we would have something like 20 million square feet of marsh. Every day, that uh, in square footage, the mussels would filter something like 30 times the 1.2 billion gallons of water that comes out of our wastewater treatment systems. And the marsh itself, that marsh around the whole of the city, just 10 feet wide, would capture some 4,000 tons of carbon every year. So the hope is that we can begin to build into the future. And the future will look like this if we want cleaner water and basically more life. All of the nutrients that are in this water are turned into the plankton. The plankton are filtered by the, by the mussels and of course oysters would behave in the same way. That, that nu nutrient then becomes food for the marsh grasses which then becomes food for the snails and, and from them the fiddle crabs and the worms and basically the whole food chain and food web. And this bay was filled with blackfish and still will be filled with striped bass and just uh, as the weeks come on. So our opportunity is to take the coastline that we have entirely built. You can see this is entirely man-made behind me. And same thing even for the other side for uh, Rodman's Neck. And actually to begin a restoration program. Every single day the waste stream, the 19,500 tons a day of waste concrete, brick and glass would be a pile of hard rock material, about 10 feet high, 10 feet wide, and a, sing and a mile long from one day's waste. So the reason this marsh is here is because these rocks and the shoreline here slows the water down and enough. So that even though this is sandy and gravelly, the marsh is able to hold on. And we simply need to make the coastline of New York so that it becomes a refuge again for the life that turns nutrients into the food chain and food web that supports us all and cleans the water at the same time.